Warcraft has been a gaming companion of mine for many years, nestled in my heart right beside a concerning amount of cholesterol. I've been a devout follower ever since it was just a little RTS making its first baby step. When it morphed into an MMORPG, I didn't just jump on the bandwagon. I glued my ass to the seat, ordered a beer, and watched the in-flight movie. But just like my addiction to frozen pizza, I just can't do it anymore. Back in its RTS infancy, Warcraft's story wasn't exactly war and peace. But hey, it had enough spice to keep us hooked, didn't it? Characters like Medivh and Gul'dan weren't deep, but they weren't exactly puddles either. When Warcraft 3 came along and decided to show off its fancy cutscenes and character developments, I went, oh, shiny. World of Warcraft was the geeky RTS series hitting the gym and coming back all jacked up as an MMORPG. It promised a world of adventure and oh boy did it deliver. Until it didn't, of course. We battled through Azeroth, taking down every baddie from the Lich King to kill Jade. Good times, people. Good times. Then came the Legion expansion. Oh my god, the Legion expansion. The ultimate showdown, they said. The final battle, they promised it. And we won. Of course we did. So, what's next? Oh uh, yeah, the old gods. Because, uh, why stop at demons when we can defeat Eldritch Horrors? But wait, there's more. Introducing the Jailer, the biggest, baddest villain you've never heard of until now. This is something I've come to call the problem of escalation. It's like every new expansion asks the question, how can we top the last big bad? And the answer is always, add more tentacles and make it cosmic. Defeating a god? Been there, done that. Now you're expecting me to believe that there is an even bigger fish in the cosmic pond? If you have any bridges left to sell, I'll buy one of those instead. My aha moment. Well, that's when I realized the Jailer was just another puppet master in a long line of puppet masters. Because, of course, we needed another twist, like, he was behind it all along. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the next expansion revealed Azeroth was just a marble in a cosmic entities game of hungry hungry hippos. I miss the days when Warcraft's story felt like an epic tale, not just some endless game of one-upmanship. Now it feels like I'm watching a soap opera where every season some of these long-lost evil twins shows up with a new apocalyptic plan. It isn't just a constant one-upmanship game going on with the antagonist. At this point, my character has saved the world several times. He has killed dragons, killed the Lich King, killed even gods. But for some reason, a farmer will charge across the field to attack me with a pitchfork. It's like he sees me and says, Is, is that... You know, the guy that took on literal gods in one? I think I can take him. But what's the solution? I don't know. I'm glad I don't work for Blizzard and I'm glad I don't have to write for this series because I think they've run its course, it's at the end of its lifespan, and there's not anything I can imagine they would do at this point to drag me back in. But, you know, I am a dumbass, so never say never.